Hey guys, it's Joan with Media Glitch here to do my PlayStation Plus review with you guys. And today, I'm gonna be reviewing Broken Age. Now, before we get into it, Broken Age is not up there right now. This is a game from October. This game you can now only purchase, and I'm here to tell you, should you buy it, should you not buy it? And so the basic of this game, Tim Schafer was the producer and director of this, Double Fun Productions. He was the one who founded this game back in 2000. You visit their website and you're gonna see at least over 30 games, which is what I counted, that they currently have live that you can play on. They have them on iOS, Macs, Androids, um, PlayStations and uh, PlayStation 1 and the older older PlayStation. So I mean like you've complete like tons of options to play with them and the other games look fantastic. So I'm here to tell you should you buy the game or should you not buy the game? That is that is your decision based off what I'm going to tell you today. So this game the graphics and the music of this game are pretty cool. I'm not gonna say they're amazing, but they're pretty neat. Um, it's not like, you know, when you've heard Joel's reviews before where he's just like, oh my God, this music is so cool. Like you need to download it. Cause that's what Joel sounds like too. But exactly. it's, <laughs> but this game is, is pretty neat. When you're looking at the graphics, the storyline, I'm, I'm not gonna give you guys spoilers because last time I did spoilers, you guys threatened to cause physical harm on me by throwing bricks at me. I read your comment. So whoever you are, I don't remember your name, but I heard you, I read that. You're in my perif. So anyway, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but the basic of the game is when you first upload it, you're gonna have a double view and you get to cho choose either the girl's story or the boy's story. And when you're on there, you it's a point and click game. But when you're going in there, you're gonna decide, should I go with this one? Should I go with that one? How do they intermix with each other? Is it past, future, present? Are they, you know, at the same time? Who knows? That is what you will have to find out. The problem with this game though, I will have to admit, is it was a little slow in the beginning and I was gritting my teeth through part of it. But ultimately, it sped up over time. So, and if you're looking for trophies, gives you a ton of trophies when you're playing this game. It was like, oh, you opened a door, trophy. Oh, you talked to everyone in the room, trophy. It was just, it was great. Um, and then from there, let's see, we were also, um, not we, I, we meaning my dog. My dog and I were playing this game together. He, he enjoys watching and hearing me curse at these games sometimes. Um, <laughs> so these games are strategy based. So if you like strategies, if you like puzzles, this is the game to get into. So example right here, this is, you have to find ways to connect these wires. This one, one of like four times I had to do this before I finished the game, drove me insane. Because if you're going left, you're going right, you're going up, you're going down, diagonal, all of these different colors have to be layered in different ways and have to be put in a certain order for it to work. And then you have to pick up this stupid hexagon again and redo it again for something else. And again, I'm leaving this all up to you. But if you love puzzles, you love strategy, this is your game. Then again, this one you find on the docking station of the ship. You have to be able to see where that is, know where it is, and I just recommend taking a picture of it on your phone or just having a notepad, which is what I had, of those symbols that you see right there. Keeping track of those. Because back on the, the screen you just saw, those symbols on the left translate to those wires and you have to figure out what they all mean to know they get the right order. So it's like creating a cheat sheet for yourself after testing everything. So this game has many, many layers, but it's it's fun towards the end. I mean, so I, I personally, I really liked it. I thought it was, I thought it was an okay game. Would I buy it? Probably not. Would I recommend you buying it? If you're into strategy and puzzles, do it. You do you, boo-boo, you do you. But for me, like I paid $49.99 for this game and that is what I paid for PlayStation Plus. So another bonus of having PlayStation Plus, you get to see these fun little things and it has a really cool storyline, I'm not gonna lie. And the different things you get to play with, um, I, I firmly, I really enjoyed. And shout out to my producer right now in the back room, Ashley, for putting up with what I've been saying of my mix, mixed up assets because she's a doll and I love her to pieces for doing what she's doing right now. Um, but this game, I ultimately have to give it three hot dogs because it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. When I started, it was at like a one, but then it grew. It grew, it grew like a little cactus. You learn to love it after a while. So there you go. That's my review. I'm playing all the other games that we have for Place and Plus. So tune in again and hear our review. So thank you. Subscribe, comments, all of it. Don't call me Joan of the Bone. But thank you guys. Joan of the Bone.